Hello, hi. Good morning, my dear students. Welcome to the chemistry class. Uh, yesterday, we have observed that about the kinetic molecular theory and Dalton's atomic theory. So here, uh, these two are related to the ideal gas expression, that is PV is equal to NRT. We begin the question of those classes. So today, also we are continuing the same, that is in gaseous molecules it is. So in the gaseous molecule, some of the gases are deviating, means they are not obeying the ideal gas expression. So I say to you, ideal gas expression is nothing but those are the gases which are going to obey ABC law. ABC is nothing but Avogadro law, Boyce law and Schwarz law. Only the gases, those who obey this three law, they are going to form as an ideal gas. Some of the gases are not obeying the ideal gas. So those classes are called as non-ideal gases. But here we are saying some of the gases, even though they are ideal, some in a particular condition, they are not obeying the ideal gas. Means they are deviating from the ideal gas expression. Here, no doubt that they are the ideal gas only. They are going to obey ideal gas only. But there is a, some condition. The, sometime it is a constant pressure, sometime it is constant temperature, constant volume. We have to maintain that uh, conditions. If those conditions are varied means, the ideal gas expression is going to vary. Is it clear for you? Why? Because in charge law, voice law and uh, remaining all the laws, we have kept uh, two of the conditions. Two of the terms as a constant and two are variable. So here, the ideal gas expression is also restricted to some of the constants. Some of the constants. If those constants are not fixed, if they are varied means, it means the ideal gas are not in the form of ideal. Means they are having some deviations. They are having some deviations means they are not obeying that ideal gas expression. Such kind of gases we are going, we are going to call that as a real gases. We are going to call that as a real gases. Behavior of real gases. Here behavior of real gases is nothing but it's not actual gas. Real gases it means that some of the gases, ideal gases which is deviating means behavior of the ideal gas. If it is deviated means such kind of gases we are calling as behavior of real gas. So behavior of real gas it means that here we are going to study the deviation from ideal gas behavior. Ideal gas behavior it is deviating. If it is deviated means for such kind of gases we are calling real gases. Keep in your mind, real gases means they are going to obey the three law that is ABC. If those are deviated slightly some, from somewhere, I am going. I am not talking about those laws, I am talking about the ideal gas. If the ideal gas is varied, my means it is slightly varying means how that the slightly varying, what that varying. Now you will come to know that one. That is the behavior of real gas. So look here. I have brought one graph here. P is equal to P versus PV means this is a pressure versus product of pressure and volume. Along x axis is pressure, along y axis it is a pressure into volume. So here I have brought one of the graph that is here ideal gas is going to have a straight line. Can you see the ideal gas is having a straight line? So it means that the pressure remains. The pressure, as the pressure increases, the pressure into volume means this product is not any variation. It's not any variation. Can you see here? This product of PV will remain same only. Same only. It means even though the pressure is increasing, the volume, so whenever it be multiplied to the pressure, pressure into volume, it remains same. So this is somewhere how we have drawn means it is a constant value. So we are not doing any experiment. We are saying by the assumptions of kinetic and by conducting some of the experiment by our scientists, we are concluding here. So, in the ideal gas expression, whenever we draw a graph of a graph of pressure versus pressure into volume, whenever we observe this graph, graph means pressure versus product of pressure and volume, we have to see this graph. It is coming as a Straight line means there is not any changes in variation in the product of PV. Such kind of line graph is called as ideal gas. That is called as ideal gas. Whereas some of the gases like helium, hydrogen, methane, carbon monoxide. Can you see these are just above the this ideal gases. They are begins from the ideal, but they are not in the straight line. They are increasing. The product of PV is slightly increasing. Whereas the methane and carbon dioxide, can you see this methane? 
this is methane and this is carbon monoxide initially they are decreasing the value pb is decreasing and again it is increasing somewhere they are obeying some particular point they are obeying the gaseous means ideal gas expression they are obeying and soon after some time they are not obeying means they are deviating so i am saying that very simple concept if i say no i need the idea uh, my solution is for this kind of person so here pressure versus pv is equal to so think that this is the ideal gas expression so ideal gas expression means we have to get the graph in this way only so it means whenever i take the any of the gases graph that gas should become graph in the straight line only so if someone we have said to sir uh, my graph is coming in the straight line this one means or somewhere it is in the cross line this one means so it means that they are under the deviation deviating means ideal gas expression is deviating so it means that while doing that experiment might be you have changed the volume might be you have changed some condition might be you have changed the temperature so if that criteria is changed means the graph what we expected as a ideal gas expression those are not in that graph they are not exactly in that way means they are some slightly changed slightly the expected graph is varied to another line means it means that this ideal gas is means that gas is not obeying the ideal gas they are deviated they are bent they are not moving in that way so it means sir such kind of ideal gases are nothing but those are the behavior of real gases means behavior of real gases real gas how it behaves means if the ideal gas are deviated means that the deviated ideal gas itself we are going to call as a real gases are you getting my point so behavior of the ideal gas if it is not behaving the ideal gas it is if it is deviated means then we are going we are going we are going to call that as a behavior of real gas so real gas when it behave means only by deviation of ideal gas that's all so here what you need to expect the question and answer here means they will ask you what is the behavior of real gas you should be capable to uh, define that one and probably they will ask you so probably they will ask you uh, draw the graph to show the deviation from ideal gas behavior other than we have to draw this graph pressure versus speed and we have to say this one if sometime they will ask you to uh, discuss the behavior of uh, real gas or uh, discuss the or explain the deviation of ideal gas behavior behavior you have to remember i have written here or why we why means behavior of real gas is nothing but it is a deviation from ideal gas behavior that's why i have written as a or means both are same meaning only i hope you got this one so from this expression you have to say that the gases are ideal gases are if in some condition they have deviated means they are varying the some of the condition and that condition if it is varying means that only the ideal gas is deviated if it is deviated from its behavior it means that deviated ideal gas we are calling as real gas how the real gas behave means by deviating the ideal gas character behavior so this is how this is the ideal gas the remaining some of the gases are not in that way they are and the different path so it means they are deviated from the ideal gas those are called as real gases this is one of the graph so here the pressure is varied here the pressure is varied why this varied means probably we may have that some of the external pressure we might have applied so here the ideal gases i have written here the observed ideal gases means the observed ideal gases is very much smaller whereas why because the real gases how much we are obtaining that the real gases is what we obtain means observed pressure is called as the pressure of the real gases means when it is deviated means why it has deviated means it is some conditions i am saying so here whatever we are applying the pressure if it is deviated means then the observed pressure is called as it is real gas pressure real gas is that is observed pressure we are calling that as a pressure of real gas it is not equal to the ideal gas why because the external pressure we have applied on that might be the particles are on pressure they are coming together at one end they are having the uh, 
particles on external pressure if the particles are near to each other so it means that external pressure they are applied means observed pressure is very much lesser means if it is lesser means we have to add some correction point so that after applying that one it will be equal to the ideal mass can you see this the pressure is decreasing here the pressure point is decreasing means here initially there might be a some external force or some constant may applied on that so we are not defining that to one what is that constant what is that how we are variating so here we are going to equalize the pressure of real gas to the ideal gas by adding some constant by adding some constant what is this constant look here this is the pressure of ideal gas it is not equal to real gas actually but we are going to equal the the pressure of the real gas by adding some of the correction term we are going to add some of the correction term the correction term is nothing but here a n square divided by b square a n square upon b square we are going to we are going to call this as a correction term correction term means by adding this constant by adding this constant we are going to get the uh, pressure of the ideal gas is equal to the pressure of the real gas means they are not actually both same but when we add in the correction terms so we are going to say together by pressure of real gas and this correction term it will be equal to the ideal gas so how means whatever we are adding the correction term here a is the constant in this condition a is the constant constant n is the number of moles v is the volume a n square divided by v square by adding this constant means correction term to the uh, pressure of real gas we may equate that to the ideal gas so this is how we are expressing that here ideal gases are deviating that can be corrected by adding some of the correction terms some of the correction term so by adding this correction term we can say that we can convert the real gases into ideal gases or we can make a clarify that deviated ideal gas are also the ideal gas only by adding some correction terms are you getting this one so next one is so i said not only the pressure the volume is also the constant but if the volume is constant means we have to maintain that volume as a constant if that volume is not constant how means look here i have drawn here another graph this is pressure and this one is volume so pressure versus volume in this graph can you see as the pressure increases here volume is increases can you see uh, the blue one is going to show the real gas graph and then another one pink light pink color is indicating the ideal gas so here the ideal gases initially it is having the some pressure the pressure is going to increase by decrease in the volume it is obviously we know that because pressure and volume are inversely proportional as we apply the pressure means volume we have to reduce then pressure will increases for that reason it is volume it decreases hence the pressure increases whereas the question is the ideal gas is having somewhere the graph is here isn't it and further it is having it is not actually touching each other but slightly they are in the same path same path almost they are collided they are adjacent very close to each other when i see here but the real gases are they are seems to be same but they are not in the same path they are having the different thing that how we have drawn this on what basis we are saying this name some way the scientist conducted the same experiment by different uh, condition by different condition the particles which were the gases used at is also same and the conducted by the person it is also same but the somewhere the atmosphere if it is varied means some of the same gases sometimes it is expressing as ideal gas sometimes it is deviating from the ideal gas if it is deviated means we are going to call that as a real gas so if it is having some change in the volume but we are not changed but somewhere it is changed how changed means if the gases particles are applied by the externally not ourselves we are not externally adding that one by some conditions by some criteria by some atmospheric uh, conditions if the volume is changed means volume is increases themselves 
if the particles are having the pressure means they will begins to move they are going to occupy the greater space at that condition the volume will be increases so how we are going to convert the real gas into the ideal gas means the same thing as we did here also so ideal pressure is not equal to the pressure of the real gas so we are going to add some correction term so after adding some correction term means the ideal pressure it will, it will be equal by adding some correction term here i said that the observed real pressure is very much smaller for that reason we have added a correction term whereas here in the volume the observed volume is greater greater compared to, compared to the ideal gas for that reason we are going to reduce that one to reduce that the ideal gas to reduce that one ideal gas i have written here see here so pressure here is lesser that's why we are added the correction term that is a n square upon b square whereas in the in terms of pressure but by observing the volume here volume of the uh, real gas means volume of the ideal gas they are changed and it is increasing see here the volume of ideal is equal to the is equal to the volume of the real means here real gas is actually greater greater compared to the volume of the ideal gas therefore we have to make it equal by adding or subtracting some of the constant term those constant terms i have added here is n so here n is a also a constant sorry it's b by because n is the number of moles b is a constant b is only the constant remaining the n is nothing but is a number of moles so here the volume observed by the deviated ideal gas that is real gas is b real so i have real volume of the real gas is b real so volume of the real gas we are going to subtract this volume of the real gas by some of the constant that is minus n b this is called as correction term this is also correction seen as we did with the pressure this is the observed volume and minus n b is the correction term so here volume is greater for that reason we have to reduce that one how we have to reduce means we are going to subtract that by constant called minus n b n is how many number of moles we have taken in the experiment and b is the constant so what is that b what is that a actually they have not mentioned the constant value and that constant value will be different for the different gases compound for that reason they have not mentioned so i said that here a is constant here b is constant this constant is not a constant for every gas it will be varies from one gas to the another gas for that reason they have not mentioned that a b values so it means uh, ideal uh, means volume of the ideal gas may be made to be an equivalent by subtracting the value minus n b means we are subtracting by n b to the uh, real gases so that we may add or we may convert the real gases as an ideal gases so together here so we are converted the volume as v minus n b and we have uh, created the pressure is equal to uh, real pressure plus a n square minus b square it means that we have changed that uh, pressure and the volume by adding and subtracting that some correction term so here now what we are going to say is we know that the what is that the ideal gas expression so ideal gas expression is going to say that pv is equal to nrt so pv is equal to nrt this is the expression pv is equal to nrt so what we have changed the pv is pressure volume temperature these are only about the ideal if they are deviated means we have to change the pressure and volume so i said that instead of to get the p ideal means ideal pressure we have to add a x square by b square that's why i have taken here p instead of p i have taken as p plus a x square upon b square why because it is by adding the correction term i have i have changed it instead of writing p i have written as p plus a x square by b square and again into b b is the ideal gas expression to get the ideal gas expression because it is deviated for that reason i am writing that b minus n b b minus n b so here b is nothing but the real gas therefore b minus n b so here b is the ideal gas it is in the deviated for that reason i am writing b minus n b where n is the whole fraction number of moles b is the constant a and b are the constant here remaining n is nothing but the number of moles b is the volume so just to observe p i have written by correction term v by subtracting the correction term 
and remaining n are the remaining same only. So this is PV is equal to n R T. This is called as the equation of real gases. Not only real. Here we have converted the deviated ideal gas as a ideal gas. This is a fraction term. So write the deviated ideal gas equation is you have to write this one. So no doubt by your mathematical expressions are important. Along with that you have to write what is the behavior of real gas, how the ideal gas are deviated means by some conditions they are varying. According to this two graph you have to explain these terms and uh, according to the pressure we are having the lesser pressure therefore we are adding here correction term. Here volume is greater for the person we are subtracting the volume here and each of P we are taking P plus A square upon P square and P is greater therefore we are uh, subtracting that one P minus MP by adding this P and B we are going to get the expression this PB is equal to NRP in this way so here we are having the two constant that is A and B this constant will be different for different gases so this is about the behavior of real gases or deviation from real gases so I hope so here PV is equal to NRT we know that PV is equal to NRT if I take a PV should be equal to NRT it means that PV when divided by NRT NRT if both are same then by dividing this one I have to get the value 1 why because these two are the same term PV is equal to NRT means if it is 25 means it should be a 25 if it is minus 5 means it should be a minus 5 because these two are the same value PV is equal to NRT the same thing PV whole divided by NRT means by dividing this one I have to get the 1 if it is not to 1 means it is having deviated that is the meaning of behavior of real gas can you see here PV is equal to NRT only if P and B are not accurately same if they are changed can you see here we have, we have corrected this one by adding the correction term if it is not equal to 1 then we are going to call that it is not equal to 1 means if it is z means not equal to 1 means it may be a z means it may be any value based on that value we are going to say whether the ideal gases are how it is varying and all so we will see about the same thing continuously in the after next class so until go through this concept and understand the concept and make short notes and I will send you the theoretical parts how to write this one okay if you are having any doubts you can call me have a nice day bye